Sometimes eh, I am very surprised about Ghanaians how hypocrisy we are. We don't respect our own and we don't honor our own and we don't love our own. We celebrate foreigners than our own. But there is no foreigner that will celebrate Ghanaian. Look at how Ghanaian members and Ghanaian Christians follow Nigerian pastors and respect Nigerian men of God and even Ghanaian pastors. That's why we all our prophets. That's why we all our men of God. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. After every prophet in Ghana is considered a fake. Every anointed man of God. So for in our annual January, last week, one of the young men in Nigeria came to do prayer conference here on over 50,000 people were there praying Ghanaian uh, Ghanaian too but let me tell you do you know there is no Ghanaian pastor that will go to Nigeria to have that crowd not even 10 percent Nigerians will never that's why there is no bigger Ghanaian church in Nigeria Nigerians respect and love their own. As I'm talking to you, my brother just sent me a text message that he landed. That he landed in Ghana. He is also coming to do a crusade now. And go and see thousands of people who are gathered there. We have this anointing in this country. There are men of God that the power that we carry, the anointing that we carry in this country, they will never respect us. And there is no way other nations will respect what you have rejected. The reason why Ghana is not celebrate, celebrated in Nigeria or South Africa, no Ghanaian is making it there, is because where you are coming from, how has your people treated you? How has your people accepted you and respected and honored your ministry? That's why no Ghanaian can break through in Nigeria. You can only go and preach in their church and leave. If you start your church, they will give you three months. Every Nigerian will leave you. Every Nigerian will leave you. Nigerians are very self-centered people. Very self-centered. They like their people, but not the Ghanaians. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. As if we don't let let a after every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every prophet, every anointed man of God. But go to Nigeria and go and hear stories they are talking about. Yet, we, we don't care about what they say about him. We, Ghanaians, we don't care about what they say about their man of God. Yet, we will go. The things Ghanaians, Nigerians, bloggers are talking. The kind of things they are revealing. And some of them will come from them. They will But they still accept them because of that. Ghanaians have accepted them. Irrespective of whatever they are hearing. They don't care whatever anybody is saying about any man of God. They will still go. As long as it's from Nigeria, it's from God. They are closer to heaven than us. Go to Google and, and Google right now about information about men of God from Nigeria. And yet, Ghanaians will troop into their church. In the daytime, I'm talking about daytime service. When they come to Ghana, they don't do evening service. So they start some of their program by 1 p.m and crowd will gather there they are going to pray because that man is the ladder to heaven we we are the broom that's why we are all our prophets that's why we are all our men of God let me tell you there is no Nigerian church that can ever break through financially without a Ghanaian church supporting them Winners chapel the huge amount of money we need chapel was taken from Ghana. Apart from their country, Nigeria, the country that was sponsoring with their chapel was Ghana. Christ Embassy. Ah, go and see Ghanaian rich men who are in Christ Embassy. No Ghanaian millionaire will enter any prophetic church. But they will go to Christ Embassy, they will go to Winner Chapel, they will go to Presbyterian Church, they will go to. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, Let me tell you something. When we are talking about let us, let us let us enjoy our own churches are also part of it if you attend sda church it means you are sending money to america if you are attending presby church you have been sending money to america if you attend christ embassy you are sending money to nigeria you attend winner chapel you are sending money to nigeria you go to jerry program you are sponsoring a nigerian in the detriment of your own prophet in ghana let that man who does a 12 midnight prayer and the friend say, Let Alpha Hour go and do 
program at the same place and you see how many people will attend you will see how many, and you will see the bloggers how they will insult the young man the next day the next day I think that the reason why Alpha Hour didn't do an uh, uh, outreach program again was what happened to him after the first incident. Yes. The first time he did the program in the stadium, after the next day, come and see the incident on bloggers. But we are in Ghana here. I told him, I love the man. I love the young man. Came to Ghana and pulled over 100,000 crowd and took offerings and seed to his country. And I saw even the electoral commissioner who was the one who went to receive from the airport. How many, how many, how many, how many churches in Ghana? Every prophetic church. Nigerians are sorry, my dear sorry, this year. No be our Hallelujah. hallelujah it's so amazing there's one guy who is picking up a nigerian man that's picking up let him enter ghana here you will see how many thousands of ghanaians so you people don't follow what we carry here you only celebrate what is published on television but you don't know what goes on beyond so when you are closer to us and you see the things we go through you consider us we are not of god but i tell you some of them they pick their ministry from us Ghanaians. some of the prophets you are seeing in the world right now is because of our anointing that's why their ministry we show them the prophetic way we taught them the ways of the spirit those days when some of us were prophesying in Nigeria, they were not prophets. Those times, huh? they didn't know anything by prophecy. We were a team of young prophets that God called us for Nigerian land. We raised the land of Nigeria, but they rejected us. They never accepted us. Once you are Ghanaian, or Morgana, no. Or Morgana, no. Or Morgana, no. They never accepted us. We have to run back and come to Ghana. All of us who were ministering, we were showing them prophecy. Celebrate. Today, all those guys that were coming to us for prophetic anointing are having private jets in Nigeria. Sometimes, I'm telling you, I regret coming back to this country because we don't like our own at all. We are so hypocrite. Yeah. Ghanaians are very hypocrite. No matter how Ghana pastors preach, no matter how Ghana pastors are anointed, if you are too much anointed, they, they say you are fake. If you can mention names, they say you are fake. You can cast out devils, you say you are fake. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on all of us.